Today, we're going over the number one piece of equipment that you should add to your arsenal to improve your videos times a million. Stay tuned. Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria with Maria Thill Photography. I'm a professional photographer and videographer based in Maui, Hawaii. You may notice that my background's a little different today and that's because we are in upstate New York visiting Jeff's parents and we're staying in this cozy, cute little cabin. And if you're looking for the best advice on all things photography, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell so you're notified every single week when I make a new video. Today we're going over the number one piece of equipment that I added to my gear to increase my quality of video production and I use it on every single video that I make. You're listening to it right now. It is my F1 zoom field recorder and this is what it looks like right now I'm using it as a lavalier right here and I get so many questions about my audio thankfully Jeff knows so much about audio and helps me with everything but this was a recommendation from him we bought this a couple months ago and I use it for all of my beach elopements it's perfect because basically I just mic the groom with this and sometimes I mic the officiant. I put a little dead cat on top for windshield and we are set to go. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I use this mic and then I'm gonna show you behind the scenes in Final Cut Pro on how you sync the audio to your video. It's really simple. That's the power button. You just flip the switch to turn it on and then what's really nice about this is typically this part of the mic is in the groom's pocket. So what I do is I flip the hold switch on and then I put it in his pocket. And what that does is it allows me to be confident that the mic is still recording and that he didn't accidentally hit the bunt hit a button and make it stop. Um, the next step after you turn on the mic would be to press record this big red button right here. And what I do is I just make sure that the audio levels are looking good. Right now, um, it's on high, but that's only because we were just filming some audio from the fireplace and it's actually pretty cool. So if you wanna take a look at that, I'll put it at the end of the video. There's a bunch of other things that you can manipulate on this field recorder, like the limiter and the low cut and the format that you wanna record in. I typically just record in WAV format, um, and that's just because I like the raw, uncompressed format for video editing. Now, the coolest thing about this field recorder is that it has the option to have a line in it for a lavalier, which is this part right here, but this top part actually comes off. And this spot right here is a proprietary slot for a zoom mic. And what this does is you put in the, mi the zoom microphone into this slot and then it becomes a shotgun mic to go on top of your camera or just to have as a field recorder when you wanna capture some ambient sound. Um, but I really like this mic because it gives you the option of doing both, which is so worth it to me. I, I think we invested like $220 into this mic and it was worth every single penny. So you may be wondering, is this the right mic for the type of work that I'm looking to use it for? And here's a list of the things that I would personally use it for, which is any type of videography where you're trying to capture somebody speaking like a speech or vows or something that you may miss with a shotgun mic because you're too far away. I would also use this for any type of interview and it also could be really handy for vlog work. So if you're on the go and you don't wanna use the shotgun mic because you've already got a heavy enough rig, then just put on the lavalier and put the little recorder in your pocket and you're set to go. It also has a limiter and auto features in the mic to prevent any sort of distortion. And you may be wondering what type of lavalier this is, but it is a omnidirectional lavalier. Now I know that I said I record in wave format, but 
This also has the ability to record in MP3, so you have the option to do both. And just to recap and touch on why I like this mic so much, the main reasons are because it is super, super portable. So we're on vacation right now. I have a little mic bag. I just threw it in my carry-on and we were set to go. There's no like ex big expensive pieces of gear that you need to carry around with you, which is awesome because we all know that we already carry around way too much gear. I also find it super intuitive and easy to use and the setup is really quick and simple. So when you're on the go and you need your mics to be ready within two minutes of a ceremony starting, it's really, really quick. And if you're curious, it uses micro USB. So if you're looking to purchase some new ones, I would highly recommend going to Costco because they have a deal going on for 228 gig micro USBs with adapters for like $50. And I think they write at 90, megab 90 megabits per second, I think. Which is really, really fast and important for video work. Okay, and the last thing that I wanna to touch on just so that you guys are well educated is that this is not a lavalier transmitter. This is an entirely wired lavalier. So this whole wire, here's my mic, it's going all the way into this recorder. I put this in my back pocket and then it records the media onto the recorder. Most lavaliers will have transmitters, so they're recording to a transmitter that's further away from it. Um, this is just a little bit different. So I take the micro USB out of here, put it onto my computer, and then sync the video to the audio. And I'm gonna show you that step right now. Okay, so I hope you guys are finding this video helpful. In the description below, you're gonna find a link to my free Lightroom preset and my private Facebook community page. I want you guys to get out there and start creating today and post on my Facebook page all your beautiful pieces of art. I wanna see what you guys create. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your fellow photographer friends. And let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to invest in this simple and easy mic or if you use a different mic, let me know below. I'd love to check it out. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye. I also just got my new Weeble S. So all the footage that you're watching right now is filmed with my new gimbal. So if you're interested in seeing a review on my new Weeble S, make sure to comment below and let me know and I'll get that video out to you guys as soon as possible.